do not need to be lectured about the importance of peace by foreign leaders. Israel's hand has been extended in peace to its neighbors from day one, from its very first day. We pray for peace. We've worked for it every day since then. And thousands of Israeli families have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend our country and advance peace. But both Israel and Palestine are expected to take part in a Middle East peace conference in France in January on the 15th. Well, Turkey and Russia have reportedly agreed on a nationwide ceasefire in the Syrian conflict, but there is a bit of a snag in this deal. Turkey's foreign minister says Ankara will not budge on its opposition to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad staying in power. The truce is supposed to take effect at midnight in Syria. The country's main rebel groups are discussing the plan with Turkey. They have already rejected Moscow's demand to exclude a key rebel stronghold near Damascus from the ceasefire. Thirteen people have been killed in a crash in Peru when a truck transporting 16 individuals fell several hundred meters into a river. Local media saying that the truck was traveling on a newly paved road when this occurred. The driver of the truck lost control, sending the vehicle 300 meters down a ravine into a river. Four children are among the dead. It's not clear what caused the driver to lose control of the vehicle. Well, a member of Afghanistan's parliament was targeted in a bomb attack in Kabul this morning. The politician and his son were wounded in the explosion, which destroyed the vehicle they were traveling in. So far, no one has claimed the responsibility. It comes a week after another member of parliament was targeted by a suicide